Say ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yes. So do. Let's do this all. We're gonna walk forward three steps and kick. Walk back three steps and touch. Peel your foot off. Get ready to dance and walk forward. One, two, three. Kick four back. Five, six, seven. Touch eight. So when I'm walking forward, I can either lead with my heel and roll into my toe, or I can lead with my toe, roll into my heel. If we had more time to talk about in Latin dancing, I'm going to lead with my toe because of what my hip action is. If I'm doing more like two-step or West Coast swing, I would be doing more of a heel lead. That's a whole other concept. But I just want you to think about the rolling action of the feet right now, walking forward and back. Peeling your foot off, ready, and walk. One, two, kick off, four, back, five, six, do it again, forward and back, on one, two, three, kick, four, back, five, six, and stop right there. So your footwork now is at another level. You're being more intentional about how your foot leaves the floor and hits the floor, yeah? All right, so now let's think about what our body is doing. Your core or your center of gravity, I said at the very beginning, put your body weight over the balls of your feet. If you dance with your, ball, your body weight over your heels, you dance heavy and it makes it feel a little bit more labored. If you're more over the balls of your feet, you can be light, you can travel, you can turn, it's going to feel a lot more graceful and, um, and light, yes? So, the first thing I want you to do when you step forward is your center of gravity is going to move to make that step. It's like starting the car engine. If you don't put it in drive, you don't go anywhere, right? So your core is your engine. Put it in drive and your feet roll like the wheels of a car. Say, wow. So where do you want to go? You want to drive forward. This is your engine. Your engine moves, your feet follow, okay? If I want to go back, if I want to drive back, what has to move first? This, okay? It's very subtle, all right? If I just do that with my foot, that's footwork. If I do this with my body, that's what we call body flight. That is a term in dance, body flight. My body is in flight and my feet catch me. Wow, right, okay? So let's do that movement again. And I want you to intentionally drive forward from your core, then redirect your core back to make you travel back. So each time you change directions, it should be led from your center of gravity wherever I want to go. It's because my center is telling me to go there. And my feet just come up the ride. Yes? Okay, forward and back. Here we go. Articulated foot. Nice control from your core. Here we go. Five, six, seven, uh, one, two, three. Redirect on five, six, seven, eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop on eight. Look at your neighbors. Such a nice dancer. You're such a nice dancer. <laughs> Love that. All right. I'm going to change my phone real quick. All right, let me use this other microphone that may be not cutting out quite so much. Okay, so, next thing. <laughs> that is the flight part of this. So the flow is kind of the footwork being smoother. That's gonna create some flow. The flight is from your center of gravity. The flourish is what's going to create shape and style in your dancing. So I can just walk forward, and I can have good footwork, and my body is moving correctly, but it look kind of flat and boring, right? But as soon as I engage my shoulders to create some movement, by the time I take my step, if you took my picture right here, it would be a shape. Then my body is going to move again, and I'm gonna end up in another shape. So my style is the way my body moves. Just watch this for me. Do this easy little, uh, I'm going to show you with uh, the music in a minute. Do your right heel tap forward. Tap your right heel, step together. Tap your left heel, step together. Do it again, right, together. And do another right, right, step. We'll do that same thing. Left heel, step, right heel, step. And two heels with the left, step. 
Now, if I do that and I stay square, do it with me. One, two, three, four, double on the run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you took my photo, I would really not have a shape. I would just kind of be like that, right? But I'm gonna actually use my frame to move between the steps. The good dancing happens between the steps, between the beats. That's my style, all right? If I don't create style, So the style is how I get from one step to the next. Get it? Say, wow. wow. Right? Okay, cool. All right, so let's do this. You're gonna rotate your frame slightly to the right, then present your right heel forward, bend your elbows, keep your arms floating, don't let them just hang, and I'm gonna turn around and look at you. <laughs> do it again. Right heel, stop. Don't move, don't move. You look so good. So if I took your picture right now, you would be in a shape, yes? You're in what we call a contra body shape because your upper body is going opposite of your feet or your lower body. That is a contra body shape, yes? So what I want you to do is think about move, place the foot. Move your body, place your feet. So my body movement is between the counts. One, two, three, four, five. Double on the right and rotate your shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I watch? Okay, smile. That's in body isolation too. Five, six, and right heel go. Hunt your body. Two, three, four, double, five, six, seven. Repeat that two, two, three, four, five, six. You look so good. Oh my goodness, okay? So two things I want is I want your eyes to stay on me. Remember what I said in the beginning is when we do body isolations, I don't want my whole body to do, if I'm taking my hips this way, my whole body doesn't go that way. So when I do my contra body shoulder isolations, my head doesn't need to go in the same direction because then I've got this. All right, and I'm gonna get dizzy, and I also really don't have, I've just changed my body to here, and if you looked at me from here, I'm still flat, right? By keeping my eyes uh, spotting the, the wall in front of me, more dimensional thing happening here, yes? So keep your eyes to the front. Second thing, Use your back and your pecs. I talked about latissimus dorsi. It's my frame, which starts all the way up in my back and extends into my arms. If I'm just swinging my arms, it doesn't look as strong as in control, yes? One more time, heel, heel, heel. Five, six, seven, rotate the body. Keep your eyes on me. Five, six, and think about your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now breathe. <sighs> Everybody's like, I got my lats, I got my frame, I can't breathe, okay? All right, so what you just did is an example of contra body action. Some dances we're gonna use contra body action, some, bo some dances we're gonna use open body or same side. Next step in this dance, it's called KS for Kicks, is a K step. We're gonna step on the diagonal one, touch two, return center, touch four, back five, six, seven, eight. So when, on, when I'm doing an open body or same side body, if I'm stepping with my right foot, my right side is going to be coming forward. My eyes are gonna stay forward. But if I looked at it, same side or an open body position, as opposed to if I stepped with my right foot and I rotated my body to the right, that's contra body. So sometimes we use open body, sometimes we use contra body. And sometimes it's within the same dance. On my K-step, bring your right side forward, touch, if you want to clap, you can. Bring your body back to neutral, touch and clap. The movement between the step is your style. Right here, this is your shape. Keep your eyes on me. As soon as your eyes go to here, we've lost our shape. Yep, and then back to the center and touch. So one more time, open body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop, eight. So we're gonna start from the beginning on the heel steps. Contra body action between the counts. On the K step, 
open body or same side body action on the second piece. Got that? Yes? Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, step, heel, step, and double. Go single, single, and double. And open your body. Open, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at the end of the dance, what we do is we do a quarter turn and we step to the right. Big step and hold. Pull together with a touch. Big step and hold. Pull together with a touch. Yes? So let's do our K step. Five, six, seven, eight. K step. Three, four, five, six. Turn and shimmy or do something to the right together and do it to the left together. And then we start again with our heel steps using our contra body action. All right? The whole thing facing the front. Then we're going to add a little flourish. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, two, three, double, five, six, eight, two, two, three, four, five. Open body. Same side. Lead. Five, six, turn with the shimmy, right, and start again, contra body, right heel, left heel, and double, double, and single, single, and double, open body, same side, goes forward, five, turn, do the slide, right, two, three, four, five, six, stop, turn around and come back to me. Now, flourish is your personality added to the dance, okay? So when you do the step to the right, I want you to pick a body part that we did in the isolation warm-up and do something, doesn't matter what it is, as I go to the right and as I go to the left. So I could just look to the right, I could look to the left, I could do shoulders, right shoulders, left, I could do rib cage, rib cage, I could go hips, I could go knees, I could do whatever I wanted to, pick a body part and add your style or your flourish. Oh boy, you're starting to panic, I can just tell, right? Okay, and on every wall, I want you to pick a different body part or a different style, just to flourish and add your personality to the dance. Look at your neighbor and say, you've got this. You've got this, you do, you do, all right? <laughs> Flamingo, flow, flight and flourish. Here we go, K's or kicks, five, six, seven, it, heels, heels, a double right. Heel, heel, and now open the body with the right side forward and the right. Now shimmy. What are you going to do? Add a body part. Go. Heel, heel, and double contra body. Use your frame. Use your core. Right. Back. What body part are you going to use? Something new? Good. Heel, heel, and double. And five, six, five, six, seven. K step. Same side body. What are you going to do this time? Try to do something different on every wall. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward, back. Let me see something. Wow. Something wow. You can do arms. Remember that's an isolation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, counter body. Two, three, four. Same size body. Open it up. Five, six, turn. Something interesting this way. Five, six, seven, go. Kick. Heel and double. Single and double. K step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn. What do you got this time? Yes. One, two, three. You're adding your flourish to that last eight counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Something fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go. Heel. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five. K step. I want you to do something crazy, something crazy. There you go, heel step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, K step. This time the music is cool. Do something cool. Yeah. Heel step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Forward and back. What do you got? Show me what you got. Hopefully, 
it helped you kind of break out of the box of I have to do exactly the same thing as my neighbor. By adding those little extras a flourish or an isolation, you add some style of personality of your own, right? If you walk away from here not remembering all of the little details I said, remember that dance happens in levels. Footwork is a level. Core is a level. Frame is a level. And fun is a level, okay? That's the most important level is to have fun with it, right? Exactly. I wish I'd had more time, but that gives you a little intro into some of the technique stuff that I do. If you ever have a, uh, an event where they're teaching technique classes, please, please take advantage of that because they're super fun to help you take your dance to another level. All right? Thank you, guys. We'll be right back.